What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of On the Get with Andre Quinn. And today we're going to show you how to embroider using the PE800 on a t shirt like a pro. Let's go. All right, yo. So, welcome back. Um, we are going to be using this uh, Bella Canvas t shirt here. Um, this is 100% cotton, Bella Canvas 3001 blank t shirt. And I am going to be using these three colors to uh, embroider a logo on the left chest of this shirt. So in order to do that, I'm going to be using the four by four hoop. All right. I'm going to be using some cutaway stabilizer. All right. I'll be using two sheets. Uh, y'all chime in and let me know if the two sheets is overkill. All y'all OG embroiderers out here that's just watching this for sport, let me know if you feel like it's overkill. You know what I mean? Tell us. I'm learning, so I'm documenting the process, though. How about that? I'll also be using some adhesive spray. All right. All right. So all these things will be linked in the description as well. So this will be a left chest print. So I want it about here in this area. All right. So I kind of want the center to be about right here. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over inside out. So unless I confuse myself, I believe it's on this side still. All right. I'm going to get my adhesive spray. Spray a little, not a whole lot, just enough. Don't really want to spray it on the thing, but you know. All right, some more adhesive spray. All right. Flip it inside out. Yep, that's the right side. Okay. All right. So now I'm grabbing my t shirt ruler. Just to kind of line it up. I even grab my big helper. That extra large should be about here. Yep, that seems about right. But I still want to bring it over a little bit more. These uh, Bella canvas are a little slim cut, so. All right, making sure that my hoop size right here is facing down, right? So that when I put it down, it go the right way. Just gonna leave this here for a second. See, it's the little micro movements for me. Throw the whole joint off. pretty close all right that's good enough for me all right so now I'm gonna take this and tighten All right, we got it nice and tight. It's not, it's not coming off, not going nowhere. All right, 
So now here we are at the PE 800. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power button on it. Turn it on. It's gonna ask me if I wanna start from where I was. I'm gonna say no. So I'm gonna go ahead and so move the carriage. Do I want to resume from where I was? Nope, cancel. I hit the new image. Go to my embroidery files. Select my four by four hoop. So I'm a, I've selected my file. I'm gonna select my four by four hoop. I'm gonna hit in edit. Actually, I'm gonna go back. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this shirt on. So we are going to lift the footer up. The footer is lifted and I'm sliding this under. Sliding under. All right, go ahead and lock it in. Locked in. All right. All right, make sure none of the shirt is in the way. Move this adhesive. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the image. I'm gonna rotate and my collar is here on this side. So I want the image facing that way. Rotate, okay. And edit. So we're gonna let this go straight smack there from the center. And then I'm going to hit embroidery. Now it's gonna tell me I need my color 206, right? And this is my 206, oh, 205, close enough. Yellow, all right. Slide the yellow in, around, around, around. Slide that on in there. And we are ready to start. So I am going to go ahead and just press the start button actually. Wow. So this is a 23 minute stitch. So right now what I'm checking to make sure is that it's taking well, as well as I don't have any um, bobbin sticking out. Uh, you will be able to see the bobbin on the other side when you have problems. It doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. And uh, I'll catch up with you guys on the next color turn. All right, so it's finished with this stitch with the yellow. Now we're turning back to the yellow. So my next color will be white. And we're gonna go white, then black, then white again. So I'm gonna wrap this around, bring it through. Set it on six, set the footer down. And go ahead and start.
All right, so, so now we are done with the white. Lift the footer. Next color is black. Thank you, good. Let's go. So I'm getting my white ready already. Throw the white on here one more time. Six minutes. Slide this out. So here's what it looks like. See if I can back up. Here's what it looks like, y'all. You go ahead and uh move this off to the side. off to the side so this is what it looks like peel this off get this off pull that to the side of course we're gonna go under here and get our tear away or cut away off just pry that back Yeah, you want to go slow with this because for sure, this is where you mess up. You wasted all your time. You will and can cut this fabric. I didn't think it was that easy to do, but it is. So take your time here. So there you have it. So we cut, we used three different colors. Uh, we had quite a few jump stitches at the end, but everything turned out good. Left chest print, Wu-Tang baby. Uh, we had quite a few jump stitches at the end, but that's okay. If you got anything out of this, hit that like button, man. If y'all wanna follow me on this journey, if y'all want more content like this, subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell and uh everything will be linked down in the description below that i used here today until next time y'all peace